You've learned soldering techniques on a single-sided board. Now we'll show you how to solder components onto a double-sided board with plated through holes. What we're going to watch is the mounting and soldering of three types of integrated circuits, or ICs. First is the dual inline pack, or DIP, with two rows of formed flat leads. To make the leads fit the holes, each row must be slightly bent to assure a proper fit. Then it's mounted on the board. Note that this board has plated through holes. On the circuit side, the two leads on opposite corners are fully clinched, away from the component body. This will keep the part from moving during soldering. The leads are small, so the 1 16th inch iron tip will be used. Its size and mass will be well matched to the joint. In soldering, notice how the iron skips around. No two leads next to each other are soldered consecutively. This helps limit the heat in any one area. Let's look at what's actually happening on both sides of the plated through holes. The iron and solder are applied, and then during the first second or second and a half, a mound of solder builds up on the pad. The hole appears to be full, but actually there's solder on only one side. When you continue to hold the iron there, you'll see that the solder pool drops all of a sudden as it flows through the hole and wets the pad and lead on the opposite side. Then you need to add a little more solder to mound it up on top. Here's the desired result, seen from the component side. Each lead shows the right amount of solder and good wetting action. When soldering integrated circuits, time is your most critical factor. They're very easily damaged by too much heat, and it's the kind of damage you won't be able to see, usually. The only assurance you'll have of a high reliability joint is the fact that it was made within two seconds.